Good morning. Hello. Welcome to today's video. Today we are going on a little hike. Well, it's not a little hike at all. I've started like two minutes ago and already I'm going uphill. It's not a little hike. It's a big hike. It is about 20 kilometers and it is the Chorley Three Peaks. Just fancy giving it a go. I don't know how difficult it is. Although it does say on all trails, the app that I found it on. I love all trails for hikes. It does say that it is hard and difficulty, but we're giving it a whirl. Ooh. I need to go right up here. Oh, yeah. I mean, obviously with a peak challenge, <laughs> there's gonna be some hills. I don't know if you can tell how steep this is, Paul. It's pretty steep. I'm pretty out of breath already. I've been going for six minutes. Goodness me. I kind of want to do this hike as, like, as fast as I can. Like as a fitness hike. I was going to say rather than like an enjoyable hike, but I don't mean not an enjoyable hike, but this isn't... I don't want this, this to be... Oh my goodness. I don't want this to be... I thought that was a person, it's a tree. What am I trying to say? Get my thoughts in order. I don't want it to be just like a leisurely stroll. Although doing three peaks is never going to be a leisurely stroll. Yeah, I want to do as fast as I can. I don't know, five hours. Four hours. I've no clue if I'm honest. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a stick thing sticking up there. I'm pretty sure from my local knowledge <laughs> that that is Winter Hill and that is one of the peaks that we're going up. There's Rivington Pike, Winter Hill and honestly I'm not sure of the other one. I'll have to have a look. We are 1.4 kilometres in, 22 minutes, but it's levelled off a little bit now. It was a steep incline and that start bit, but then now it's all right. A bit more steady, just sort of a little bit up and down. -y. It's nice though, oh, it's peaceful. I've not seen anyone else yet. Completely on my own. I've just seen a man, he's gone now, running. One day, sir, one day. Maybe I feel like I can run. <laughs> For now, I'll stick to hiking. Oh. We're going this way, I think. Yeah, we must be because Winter Hill is over there. We had some big fires on Winter Hill a few years ago. Started deliberately by some pricks. Ground is a little bit dodgy in places, like wetness wise and muddy, but mostly it's not too bad. And this is like a ruin of a little farmhouse. Stone longhouses built in 1800s and 1700s. The weather is not quite as nice as when I set off. The weather forecast is nice so hopefully <laughs> we get niceness what have we done we've done 2.91 kilometers this little seat in there i've no idea where to go now hang on let me consult my map it's this path just as i say that the rain has started rolling in not enough at the moment for me to get my rain jacket out but to be honest it's quite a nice little 
spit to cool me down because I was getting quite warm with all that uphill walking but hopefully it's just a little bit of a, a spit and then it'll go. I've made a very rocky error and left my waterproofs in the car so that's a bit annoying because this is a little bit miserable now to be honest just that drizzly horrible rain I put my jumper on that's better I guess I was gonna say this is not what I ordered or expected but I guess this is England and this is summer <laughs> of course it's what you get you never know when it might just rain oh it's so nice though being out here just would have been nicer in the sunshine I think where we've just been where those um benches were i think that might have been our first peak <laughs> i missed it well i didn't miss it i didn't realize because we're definitely heading now to winter hill oh no is that a dead sheep is it it's grossing me out let me get past it how do i get past it it's all muddy and horrible oh my god this is wet To get back up on that path. That was a dead, that is a dead sheep, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh no, horrible. This little stone path that I'm currently on through all the, is that Heather? I think it's Heather, correct me if I'm wrong. It's really cute. Little steps up and down. Where's our next target? Getting closer. Winter Hill. I've even been doing, I don't know what's gotten into me. I've been on a, quite a bit of a flat there, so I was doing a bit of running there for some reason. <laughs> it's a bit of civilization down here. There's a car. I think maybe, like if you're just doing a winter hill walk, park there and, oh, this looks quite steep actually going down. Park there and walk up to Winter Hill. There's sheep in this field as well. They're all staring at me. Just walking through, don't mind me. You all right? Right. Bit of a country road. Right, I think I'm gonna be faced with a little bit of a problem going up Winter Hill here because the path is over here on the left and it's absolutely boggy as hell. There's no way it's like walkable in. There is this like clap wall that I think can give a go for a little bit I don't know how far it will be kind of like safe or whatever to scramble over but we'll see we'll start with wall and see how we go just hope that that path does get a bit accessible in a minute or two because I can't I don't think I can keep clumbing along this wall forever like up to the top Ooh. nearly <laughs> um, I don't know we'll see Bit of a problem if it's a cannot pass area. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be a problem. I can just head back to that road and figure out where that goes, but it'll be a disappointment if I can't get through because it's too boggy. Like that is just sink down <laughs> into the mud. There's no way that's walkable on. This is for now though. Okay, I'm back on the path, although it's starting to get a bit muddy again now. It's, this is this is a bit of a challenging part of the walk. But this, I don't know if you can tell how steep this is, but this looks like like ridiculous, like way beyond. Oh god, this is foggy here. Way beyond my capabilities of getting up. I'm gonna give it a go, but I don't know. It doesn't look possible from this angle right now. <laughs> I mean. It's pretty bad underfoot. I can kind of keep to the edges mostly and stay out of it. Right, we're starting the climb. Let's see how it is. It's steep. I'm about a third of the way up. It's only taken three minutes. So it's steep, but short. Oh. So steep. It's just steep. I know I keep saying it, but it's steep. I'm quite slippery in this part. 
so I'm just going really slow and carefully to be honest now. Oh my god, I made it. That was a scramble and a half. It's pretty weird because the pike thing, whatever it is, some sort of signal and stuff on Winter Hill. I've seen for years and years, like you can see from my house. This red, I think it's red, I can't even remember now. Red light at night. I can't even see it at night. And I'm at the top now. I've never been up here before. I mean, <laughs> it's not exactly what the ball was just signaling, I don't know what these things are called, towers. But I made it. That's the post that I can see that lights up red at night. But peak two. Done. That was a hard one. A really, really hard one at the end. So steep, honestly, it was like that. It was a scramble, like you couldn't just walk it. It's like scramble up. What have we done? 6.5 kilometres. Woo! Still a way to go. I'm not even halfway yet. I'm pretty sure the rain's stopped now though, so that's good. I assume you'll still have to drive up here. Because these signalman towers and things, I don't know. You must be able to. This road. I'm having foot issues. I've got some Vaseline. I'm going to put some Vaseline on my um, on my foot. Like my heel, it's rubbing. Oh yeah, let's see. I'm getting a blister. Oh, I should have put some Vaseline on earlier. You can definitely drive up the here. This is turned into a proper road now. Oh wow, they like go in these things. Oh my god, I could not do that job to maintain it. Service it or whatever. Oh my god, no way. Nope, not for me. I packed myself a little snack. It's turned a little bit too much, so it's a bit of a disaster really, but some blue peas and some nuts and stuff whilst I'm walking. Nice. We're wandering down now, heading towards Rivington Pike. That's Horridge down there where the stadium is. That's what all I know to be honest. Oh, I absolutely saw that one that I just put Vaseline on. It's too little, too late. We're over halfway now. I think we're about 10 kilometres in. I think it's about 19 kilometres. So I'm just going to have to it up for the rest of the time. The sun has come out. How good is that? So much so that I need my sunglasses. Oh, this is nice. That rain dampened my spirits for a little bit. Now that sun's come out. There's loads more people now. Rivington Pike. Like I say, I've done it a few times. It is a really popular local walk, like with dog walkers and just people coming on hikes, so lots of friendly faces for this little section. This is it, the start of our last peak going up. steep again. Oh. going down from Bivington Pike and there's loads of like different little gardens and things like there's the Italian gardens and I can't remember now from the last time I came up here but it was like a big estate I think I don't think I'm telling you a lie there I think it was like a big estate owned by one family 
probably still is. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know whether we're going to walk past any of the, the gardens, though. I don't think we are. Which is a shame. I suppose I could, but I feel like I'm walking far enough. I don't know where we're going. Down some steps. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's quite interesting, like, when you're wandering around, Rivington Pike, like, not the very top of it, but here, there's all, like, little different nooks, nooks and crannies and staircases and places to go. Oh, here are some gardens. I think these might be the Italian ones. I mean, they're kind of in ruin now, but... It's gonna run away. Oh my goodness. Where's it gone? I'm not gonna see it again. It's scared of me now. Where is it? <gasps> that was amazing. It's long gone now. It's like just ran right in front of me. <sighs> wow. Right, let's have a little update. Where are we up to? Whoa, we're 13 kilometres in. 13 kilometres in, three and a half hours. All the peaks are done, so it should just be a stroll. For update as well, I've solved my problem. I've loosened, I've put some more Vaseline on and I've loosened my, um, my boot and it's going well. I'm pretty sure there's no more elevation. Let me check. No, oh yeah, there's a little bit there, but I took a wrong turn as well, look, but never mind. Should all be an easy few kilometres now. I've taken another wrong turn, but this wrong turn has meant I was so close to no more hills. But this wrong turn has meant that I've got a big hill to climb up. I was just talking to this man for a while. He wanted some help getting his wheelchair over this post thing. Anyway, we were chatting about different hikes. He's local and he was saying, I was telling him where I was parked. He said, oh, you've been out a long while. And he was like, oh, you've, to get back to that place, you're gonna have to go round and it's like up a big hill. And that's when I realized I'd taken a wrong turn. Or well, not a wrong turn, I hadn't turned off the road when I was supposed to. He said there's a quarry or something up here. And then when I get to the top, it's about a 30 minute walk to the car, he said. We'll see. I'm almost at the end now. Oh no. I'm just, I keep coming across these. Oh no, sorry, this one's all right. So it's been worse where I've had to like, I've nearly ended up in the mud. I'm coming to the end, maybe like the last 10 minutes or so. And, oh, what a wonderful day it's been. That's, we're on. I kind of wanted to do it in under five hours. So I've been like trying to run a little bit of the last bit, but I don't think I'm going to make it. I'm on like four hours, 56 minutes. So I kind of gave up on that. But it's been so nice. How far has it been? 18.8. <sighs> challenging. It's been challenging at times, but it's been really nice. I've enjoyed it. Oh heck, my car's like there, but I gotta get through this. Ah, oh, it should be all right, I think. Stick to the edge. Ah, oh, squelch. Oh. All done. Back at the car wanted to kind of relax a bit. I think it was like 20 kilometers. I wanted to relax, but I've got to go. Stephen's now car shopping. So I've got to quickly 
come meet him. Car shopping before the place closes. We'll look at the um, stats of that hike later. Oh. Oh. 